Last night's campsite served me well, but now it's time to finish up this hike. Got about 11 miles to go to the finish line. I'm headed for this notch up there. It'll be my pass, drop me down into Four Palms Canyon. pillar in the foreground. There's another one right behind it. This climb's been a little more work than I thought. Almost there though. And I'm just right below the pass now. Here's the top of my pass. Now I'm looking down into Four Palms Canyon. And then out there is Highway 95, where I'll end my hike. And finally now the end is in sight. What a feeling that is. And the rock formations in this area, the Kofa Range, are just outstanding. It's like the perfect mesh of, you know, just jagged, mountain landforms with desert. It's just beautiful. When I woke up this morning, I knew it was my last day. But it really takes a little while for that to set in, you know? And now I'm feeling it. This canyon is incredible. I uh, kind of wish I would have camped here last night. Wouldn't have made it in time, but this would have been one hell of a place to spend my last night, although I really can't complain about last night's campsite. It's pretty great on its own. It's the thing, there's just so many great places here. Way more than I was expecting. Definitely a fitting way to end this hike in a spectacular place like this. Canyon's coming to an end here pretty soon and giving way to the plains below. Pretty much the end of Four Palms Canyon. Exiting the canyon, entering the open desert. And even though I've got a couple more hours of walking to get to the highway, I think in many ways, leaving this canyon behind is kind of the end of this hike for me. I don't know how you hike through this kind of terrain without it just moving you in some way. But that's why I do these long hikes, because there's really no other part of life where you feel this alive, this many 
emotions all at once. You're just kind of torn in every direction at once. Happy, sad, accomplished, excited, empowered, humbled. And to me, I couldn't envision any better way to end it, kind of coming through this incredible majestic canyon, these symbolic pillars guarding the entrance to this incredible canyon that now give way to my last open desert trek to the highway just a few miles away. This is Palm Canyon Road, it leads out to the highway. Uh, so now I'm on the road and road walk the rest of the way to the highway. And now this is where the real reflection begins. It was about two and a half months ago when I kind of got the idea to do this hike. I texted a text buddy of mine and I said, hey, do you think I could put together a through hike from scratch in a week? Map it out, plan it and everything. He just texted back, he said, no, period, that's it. I said, all right, well, I'm gonna do it anyway. It actually took me about two weeks to plan this hike. And on this hike, I saw hikers on day two, and I saw a few hikers yesterday, and that was it. Those are the only hikers I saw on this, on this route. I definitely grew my skill set on this hike. Become a lot more confident with water, carrying water, finding water, going long periods without water, and Canyoneering, non-technical canyoneering. Kind of reading the maps and knowing what to expect when you get there and knowing what's possible and how to climb up and down hundreds and hundreds of pour offs and just being confident in doing those kind of things with no information on it. So it's been a real adventure. And those are some of the big lessons I think I took away from this one. And if nothing else, I hope it at least inspires you to take on whatever it is you dream of. I'm just a half mile from the highway now, Highway 95. And there's no monument here at the end of this hike like the CDT. Uh, but I've got my friend drove here from Phoenix to pick me up. And he might have a little something for me. My ride has arrived. You look like you're lost. Do you <laughs> need a hamburger, perhaps? Well, there really are cheeseburgers at the end of the rainbow. Yeah, there are. Well, there you go. That's what was in the fridge hanging out. Oh, nice. And bubbles. All right, well, 600 miles hiked over 46 days. Only one way to celebrate, a little bit of champagne and a cheeseburger. Joe's region. <laughs> How's it taste? A true hiker trash celebration. <laughs>